pickers uh, i am picker sir so today i am going to upload the last part of this chapter our government okay so without wasting the time let's start the chapter so uh, we have completed about the central government that means the lok sabha so today we will talk about the rajya sabha uh, rajya sabha is another part of the parliament okay and uh, the members of the lok sabha that means the mp uh, <coughs> select that who will go to the rajya sabha okay and the total seats of the rajya sabha is 250 and 238 uh, members of the rajya sabha are uh, you know uh, sent by the lok sabha members and 12 people are nominated by the president of the india <coughs> these 12 people uh, are uh, coming from the society like uh, who have social values you know uh, who is a respectable person in the society people love them so that's why that kind of people were or are selected as the members by the president of india like sachin tendulkar ji sachin tendulkar is the honorary member of rajya sabha followed now rajya sabha is the permanent house you cannot dissolve like the lok sabha the members of the rajya sabha Uh, the total term is six years, as you all know that the the term of the Lok Sabha is the five years, but for the Rajya Sabha is six years, and one third members retire after every two years. Okay, so it is about the Rajya Sabha. For it, now we will talk about president. As you all know that uh, how president is elected, actually the members of the Lok Sabha, the members of the Rajya Sabha. the members of the state legislative assembly on behalf of the people select that who will be the next president of the india understood so president of india is not directly elected by the people president of india you know has the legislative power judicial power as in uh, uh, ordaining power you know uh, financial power emergency power military power diplomatic powers and executive powers he is the first citizen of the india so that's why he is representing our country understood about the president now coming to the prime minister and the council of the minister as you all know the real head of our country is the prime minister now the total the main power of the country for 5 years is totally lies to the prime minister prime minister can appoint uh, all the minister prime minister can dismiss the minister prime minister is the head of the councils of the minister prime minister is taking the decisions for the welfare of the people for next 5 years for if prime minister resign from the post then definitely one second the election will be happening and many ministry departments are under there as you know the know the ministry of the defense ministry of the education uh, ministry of the coals ministry of the road and transports so these all ministers are known as the council of the minister understood now <clears throat> council of the minister appointed by the president of the india on the advice of the prime minister okay and only members of the parliament that means who has won the election in the lok sabha so they will be the minister okay if imagine the non member that means who is not uh selected by the people or who uh, uh you know did not own the elections so non member is appointed he or she must be elected or nominated within 6 months so then we will talk about the state government of india now it is not possible for the central government of india to look after each and every process so that's why our constitution of the india divided Uh, uh india into different states right now we have 28 states so 28 states also 28 government the people of the particular states selected their government for next 5 years for example uh, 2021 the uh, people of the west bengal selected their state government in uh, we have selected and our uh, chief minister is as you all know the respected mamata banerjee ji okay now um state government maintain the law and order maintain the local transportation system health services community development programs and many things and definitely within the law uh, and uh, and uh, state government can take the decisions uh, uh, you know on
on behalf of the peoples and if state government has the problem then definitely he or she should uh, inform the officer which was or which is appointed which is appointed by the prime minister in every state okay then this officer will convey the message of the uh, you know uh, state government to the central government understood so this officer is known as the governor now we will talk about the structures of the indian judiciary it is totally independent it is not controlled by the parliament for it and judiciary department is a uh, extremely powerful so it basically it has three divisions the uh, first judicial head is supreme court of the india and under the supreme court of india every states we have the high courts then under the high courts in every states you can find out the subordinate courts or the district courts or the judge courts or um, anything understood so uh, how many types of the courts you can find out in the india supreme court of the india high courts i have told you district courts session courts sub courts magistrate courts special courts family issue courts village courts you know economic courts juvenile justice courts and this courts you know uh, people have lots of faith actually suppose uh, you know something problem is there police station is not filing your case so then definitely you can go directly to the court and file a case court initial inquiries but you have to go you have to apply step by step that means first you have to apply in the lower courts then the high courts then the supreme courts so in this way constitution of india divided this judicial system for it so thank you very much i hope you have understood so uh, next day or that means uh, and and best of luck for your examination examination is knocking the door so study well okay if you have any problem definitely you can contact with me thank you